people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, the onslaughts, the buffoonery of badness, it continues in Montego Bay, St. James, Rose Heights to be specific, Mall Road. Based on information, it is said that there was a drive by after the smoke clear, 47 spent shell from all sorts of assault rifles, A to the R, A to the K, M to the 16. Five people get shot up, including a 15 year old. Of those five people, two of them pretty much gone upon the spots. One was rushed to the place of recovery. However, too late was the call. That person lost their life during or before surgery. Now people, based on the information, it is said that there was some sort of event, some sort of party. Party for some gangster, meaning a youth whose name is J-Man. J-Man was also hit. A next person named Chippy Dan, he was also hit. A young lady, Tony Ann, she is said to be the baby mother of J-Man. Now people, the telltale sign is that when people come and spray a place with assault rifle, all brands, it tells you that this is no random act of violence. This is a direct hit. Of course, there are going to be casualties of war. In the case of the 15 year old, I am sure that he has nothing to do with nothing. However, you know it go. When these people spray, they spray indiscriminately. That means uh, who get it, get it. I just saw the thing go. Now people, based on information, it is said that this hit was carried out by bad breed. Based on the information, it is said that there was a hit list or what we call a mark for D-E-A-T-H list that is circulating and those who are on this list is going to be either gone is going to be con up or have already gone. These are some of the names that are on the list. J-Man, Rayman, Fredman, Squash, Squash Mother, Shabdan, Fathead, Pang. Relatives of those persons are also on the Quaker list. One person that was on the list that is no longer with us his name is Annex. Now people, when I listen or hear about a list, this is how I feel about a list. This list could be made by several persons because of motive, ulterior motive. Sometimes people put up stuff to fill their agenda. Sometimes bad breed they have an opposition and that opposition wants them out so therefore that opposition tries to frame them. Sometimes the poor poor the poor poor figure that listen these buffoons these morons are warring best way to get rid of them because they cannot analyze and read between the lines is to say that this one put out a hit Upon that one, so therefore, if that one here say, some I am corner them lose them life because of that person's motive, they are going to retaliate reprisal. So therefore, them set up gangster against gangster. Now, people, the fact that the list is out there and the fact that a couple of these persons have either lost their life, got shot up, or both, it tells you that there is some credibility to the list. There's one particular person that is on the list and his name is Shabdan. Shabdan producer slash it is alleged 
that he is involved in all sorts of criminal activity. It is alleged there is a war between himself, Squash. It is alleged that he has a couple of heads on the shoulder. And we've heard all the claims on social media, on YouTube. However, people, what I have realized is that hearsay seems to not work in courts and the relevant authority, meaning the Popo, DPP, Paula, Llewellyn and them, they don't take these allegations or claims very seriously. Now, we've seen a couple of instances in which Shabdan has been in trouble with the law. Shabdan was a deportee, so therefore, Shabdan, as a checkered pass, he is no altar boy. However, whenever the relevant authority, meaning the DPP, analyze all these evidence and claims and allegations, she has to ask herself the question, who is my source of information? Does my source of information have an ulterior motive as in fame, as in over sensationalizing stuff? Can I use this evidence without proof and take it to a court of law and expect any sorts of conviction, any sorts of credible? Can I put forward a credible case? based on the reputation of my source and obviously we know the answer to that is that yes there is word on the street there is hearsay however in a court of law they go by what we call evidence proof exhibit so therefore if that exhibit is not deemed to be very credible therefore that case will not be forthcoming now, people, we know that there is a couple of cases as it pertains to Shabdan. The latest one, when he was held in a car with the next person with some illegal fire piece. That fire piece was said to have been brought in from some place in Atlanta, United States to be specific. However, that case is also DEAD. I am speaking about as it pertains to Atlanta. The case in the court in Jamaica, that is also DEAD. He is facing a corruption or bribery charge where some officer claimed that he bribed them, he tried to bribe them for throw over the case for a million dollars or so. So people, when we think about the fact that Shabdan seems to be on so many lists and of those lists, other than producer lists, other than producer credits, most of those lists have some sort of criminal background on it. We have to ask the question, is this shop done like a Teflon done? Is this shop done pretty much defying gravity? How is it that he is on the list of so many gangsters? How is it that he take with so many people? However, he is roaming freely. He is still at studio. He is still living his life as if he has never done anything wrong and people here is what the law says a man is innocent until proven guilty and even though he has a guilty conviction overseas in which he was deported in a jamaica it is as if his criminal record is just like jesus criminal record or any other legal law abiding innocent tax paying citizen in a jamaica so people may just say when we think about the fact that him name a Carlo pan so much blog, pan social media, all sorts of cases, well not all sorts of cases, a couple of cases, so many allegations has been made about this man or against his name, his credibility. We have to ask the question, is this the Teflon Dan of Jamaica? How is it that the law can't get him? How is it bad man can get him and people? This is my disclaimer. If he is indeed innocent, I am not wishing any sorts of D-E-A-T-H on anybody. However, if he is indeed guilty of those allegations and claims, we would like to see the Popo either put out some sort of warrant, 
the DPP make some sort of ruling and say that he's supposed to be charged. However, people, here's the thing. When the DPP analyze all of these evidence and exhibits, then she makes a determination, unless, of course, she is getting paid off by Shabdan, and I doubt that very much. Me just ask the people, how does he avoid being on so many lists? These mark for D-E-A-T-H lists. These D-E-A demon lists. And still roam around as if nothing happened. People, let me ask you a question and not to wish any sorts of ill on anybody or make any sorts of determination whether a person live or D-I-E. What do you think is going to happen as it pertains to Shabdan? Do you think that he is going to remain free all his life? Do you think that the Popo are actually going to arrest him on some substantial evidence? Do you think that he is going to lose his life on some sort of reprisal? People, let me know what you think in the comment section. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.